Hello everyone, and welcome back to part four of Let's Play Fire Emblem, Genealogy of the Holy War. And we are going to uh, make it to chapter one. Sigurd's capture of Evan's castle comes too late. Aideen is not there, instead already well within Verdane's borders. Verdane's territory is blanketed in a thick sweep of forest. The nation is widely dubbed a Barbarian Kingdom by Granvale's people. Owing to their constant raids on Granvalian soil. However, the reign of King Batur has seen an end to Verdane's infamous border raids. A pacifist, King Batur has long worked to build a lasting peace with Grand Vale, while also keeping his aggressive sons appeased. Ultimately, however, it was Batur himself who violated the peace he held so dear. Batur's three sons have unexpectedly launched an assault on Grand Vale. Kinbaith, the second son, Lord of Genoa, Gandalf the eldest, Lord of Marfa, and Jamka, the youngest of the three. Lurking deep within Verdane territory, the three now await the arrival of Sigurd. Aideen's fate, Batur's sudden belligerence. Sprawling before Sigurd lie the great forests of Verdane and within them the answers he seeks. He prepares to take his first steps into the spirit forest of folklore. Chapter You're doing a fine job, soldier. I leave the border's defenses to you. Yes, my lord. Sigurd, it's been a long time. Pray tell, why do I find you suddenly occupying Evans? You couldn't possibly be declaring war on Verdane, could you? Eldjan, I am glad to see you. Listen, the Verdanites have abducted Lady Aideen of Jungbi. They've made it amply clear that they don't plan on releasing her. Taking her back by force is our only option. Ah, I see, that makes sense. Well, whatever you do, you cannot afford to leave Evans unattended. My fellow Augustrian lords have been of a rancorous sort of late. Ah, uh, I know. I'll ensure they don't threaten you from behind. I'm sorry to involve you in this as well. Say, Eldigan, once I'm done here, what do you say to a uh, catch-up? You, me, a fine bottle of wine, just like the good old times. Hmm, looking forward to it. I trust I'll see you later, then. May luck be with you this day, Sigurd. Yes, I am gonna be using a wise guy accent for El Eldigan. Listen up, Ira! You know the deal. While I'm out, you guard the palace. Right up to your very last breath. Remember, first sign of funny business and it's the brass head. Ira, Ira, I'll be all right. Don't give in to these thugs. Don't let them boss you around. Shannon. Look, Kinbaith, you have my word. So long as you leave Shannon alone, you'll have no trouble. But I do wonder if, once this battle is over, you actually plan to return him to me. Ha oh, ha ha, you got nothing to worry about. If we get Evans back, you get him back. I understand, but be warned, Kinbaith. 
If you break your promise, you'll deeply regret it. Cross me and I will pursue you to the very depths of the inferno itself. Till I take your head. Remember this well. Whoa, settle down there. I don't believe it's such a cute face, but you only use it to spew bile like that. I'm not about to make an enemy out of someone with a sword arm as fine as yours. I can promise you that. Shane, and sit tight. Be patient for just a bit longer. Ira, no, don't do it. Don't go. Ira! Fair right, boys. We're moving out. We're taking back Evans. Here they come. Alrighty, folks. I am actually gonna do something. Hi, everyone! If you noticed a small cut there, it's because I did off-screen battle preparations and uh, put all my characters through the arena. So, that's why. Um, there are a couple changes to inventory. I gave, uh, I gave a lot of Quan's equipment to Finn, which is gonna serve him really well. I also passed the Silver Sword to Ethlyn because she's the only one who can use it. Although, I doubt she'll be attacking it much, using it that much even. So we'll probably pawn it off to someone else. Finn, this will likely be a very long battle. My apologies for bringing you into it. I am but your humble servant, my lord. I would go anywhere should my master will it. Thank you, Finn. Even so, I am but a page. It honors me to have your confidence, but I doubt I'll be of much use to you. Is that so? In that case, what better time than now is there for a spot-on, hands-on training? Draw, Finn! Yes, sir. And, uh, some nice training for Finn. And now we'll have Sigurd. Oh, Sigurd can go far. He won't get attacked by the bandit, so... Whatever. Noish, come out. Come out and play Noish. And Arden, move along. I uh, think I'm gonna send Lex in first. A tougher frontline unit. And Madeer. And finally, here comes Ethlyn. She has the Silver Sword, indeed. The Silver Sword actually helped her get past a couple of levels in the arena. Well, that and her, um, and her critical skill. So what's going on here? Gonna be engaging Kinbaith's lot next turn. I have somewhat of a decent strategy for that. And a mountain thief. Two mountain thieves. Alrighty. Ooh, what's going on? Come on, Aideen, take the brat and get out of here. And quickly. You need to get as far out away as you can before Gandalf finds out. Pardon me, Prince Jamka, but are you not joining us? No, I won't stand for my brother's vile ways, but I just won't betray my father either. 
I'm going back to the capital. I'm going to try one more time to convince my father. You're right. We must do all we can to end this war as soon as possible. Prince Jamka, I would sooner not burden you alone, but you are our only hope to persuade King Batur to end this. Hey, Dean, come on, hurry up! We're still in serious danger here. If they catch me this time, then get off and rip, rip my tongue out for sure. Do you? You're a thief. You got caught in the act. Any tongue rippings you get are your own fault. If Aideen hadn't insisted on letting you go too, you'd still be sitting in chains. Now what did you promise to do? I know, I know. I promised Aideen too. I'm washing my hands of thieving from now on. Can I go now? I'll take your word for it. Now go already. Hey, Dean, may we meet again? He spoke with, uh, eyes of love. Uh, hey, Dean has, uh, so many in my- What? Jemka let the broad go? And went scurrying back to the capital. God damn my rat of a brother. Boys, we're taking the wench and the brat back. They put up a fight, kill him if you have to. God, Aideen has so many admirers. She has Jamka, Gandalf, and here up here, Medir and Azel. She has four admirers already. Anyway, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna put Alec here in the woods. Alec is gonna chill in the woods and retaliate against all of these Verdane, uh, all these Axemen, he's gonna retaliate on them. And then my other units will kind of set up shop around this, around this line. So this forest and this diagonal. I'm particularly looking to have Lex and Neusch, uh, near the front lines. Well, honestly, I want all my, uh, mounted units up in front. That way they can run in and run back. Uh, Ethlin's gonna be close behind. Arden. And... Azel. Not sure I'll put Azel there. I'll put Azel where uh, Sigurd is. Sigurd can chill out here. Juan can chill out here. So, one of the things I've decided is that it's okay for Sigurd. I'm not using him, but it's okay for him to occasionally see combat. Um, just because there's some characters you have to recruit and whatnot, so... I don't think I'm always gonna be guaranteed to keep him out of range of enemies. Um, especially, like, here with seizing this castle. And recruiting Ira. And later on, uh, in Chapter 2, he has to recruit somebody recruit an enemy unit in a bit of a dangerous... Well, actually anyone can recruit them. But, um... Anyway, what I'm saying is there might be instances where Sigurd has to do something, like talk to somebody or seize a castle where he could potentially get attacked by enemy units. Um, and I'm gonna keep leave him unequipped and not gonna deliberately use him to tank. But, I am going to, um, I am going to, um, allow not restart if he gets attacked. If he gets killed, obviously I have to restart, but, 
so yeah. Not a hundred percent no holy blood. But honestly, I'm hoping I don't have to use him. Even in this coming, uh, capture of this Genoa castle. Alright, so everyone is pretty much attacking Al at this point. That is so... wow. That guy actually hit him. He has like a 6% chance or something to hit. And he hit. So that's actually super interesting. Now these archers are all gonna come out. I feel like I could have lured one of the archers. Yeah, this guy. So this guy will likely have to die next turn. In general, I'm gonna spend most of player phase. Wow! Lucky. Lucky, lucky AI. Um, anyway, in general, I'm gonna spend most of player phase um, killing the archers because the melee units will kill themselves on enemy phase. And these guys are rushing forward. Yeah, that crew of dudes is just very weak. It's just a bunch of axe users. Some of them have hand axes, but that's not scary at all. And the bandit heading for the village. Alrighty, so... What is... 7%? Are you kidding me? Landed twice. That's just straight up robbery. Anyway, I know who I have to heal this turn. Um, gotta think about my positioning a bit. So, actually, I think move Arden forward. Set up some kind of line. Well, there's pretty much no... Uh, thinking... Should I, I should probably set up a line, but also it would be good to, um, would be good if I can just chill in the woods. I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to send my units into the plains and wooded areas over here and have one guy out here. I'll probably have to place Noish out here because Alec has to retreat and get healed. Uh, but. It'll be totally fine. So... Alec, whack this guy. And he has to get to the nearest to the woods. I kind of... This is how I want to fight them. I want to fight them... Uh, out of the woods. Right? So, I want my units to be defending from the woods and his units to be attacking into it. Hmm, not the best level up. Alright, who can I kill? I will put one unit here. So, I think I can eliminate this guy, probably. Well, we'll see. The archer closest to me should be pretty easy to kill next turn. So I think Arden here in the woods. Ah, there's woods here too. Midir. Ooh, that's a lot of hit. That guy hits Midir has a high chance to hit Madir. So I am not going to attack him. Yeah, I'm gonna play kind of conservative. Not kill that many units on enemy phase. What's really important to me is that all my guys are in the forest for enemy phase. 
everyone has 20% of evasion boost. Or is out of range. Light him up from a mid-range distance. Yeah, good. So these this guy can attack Medir, but whatever. Lex might not make it back onto a forest. But... Lex is also my most durable unit, so he's the one I'm, uh, I'm least worried about having him make it back onto a forest. We'll kind of block off the other units. Ladies first. And, uh, Dew is gonna have to be here. Alrighty. A little worried about Lex, but I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's not good. Hold my breath during enemy phase. Ah! Uh, a cost just proc there. Near you saw how good uh, Noish can be if he just had pursuit. Like he rounded, one rounded that guy, which is uh, really good. Oh god. Yes, good job, Lex. Get some defense. Nice. Dodge these guys, dodge these guys. Nice. Good job, Lex. Very good. Now the enemies are really close to the woods, so... Attacking them and then retreating... Should be really straightforward. And Ken Bates... Pointing your little stick at me? That's precious, that is. I'll cave your head right in. Alrighty. Very straightforward enemy phase. Nothing scary so far. Bandit is getting closer to that village. Sure hope there's no old man in that village that... You guys know how I feel about the opportunity to voice old people. Alright. Arden can actually... So, priority targets. Kinbath, because he does a lot of damage. The two archers, because they have good hit rates. Other than that, not too concerned about anybody. Noish is in a great position to do damage to Kinbath. This guy also has to die. Eh, I don't know. I don't know about fighting Kinbath this turn, actually. Because it's kind of awkward, like I have to clear one of these guys out and then commit to attacking him. I think it's better to just play conservatively and make sure I kill all the guys I want to kill. And go from there, kind of. Road, plane. So Finn's just gonna like run away completely from this guy. Ah, oh, 
Finn, so good. Because Finn does well, does a lot of damage, but he's a bit frail against stacks users, obviously. Um, that guy can catch up to him, and that guy can. So these two guys are high priority. High priority targets right here. This guy. He has a higher hit rate against Finn. And I'm gonna heal up Lex, so. Alright, good. Um, I am the deer. Light this guy up. Light him on fire from a mid range distance. I should have attacked from the plains, although he might be able to retreat farther um, from here. So I, I'm, this is this guy. Ah, uh, this guy. I'm not gonna get a kill, but that's totally fine. Oh no! Well, that sucks. Uh, I'll just place Art in here. So, Arden's kind of helping block off units that want to attack uh, Alec. And I think we are in a great position for enemy phase. Kinbaith is powerful, but... He's only one unit, so... He's one unit, and he's very tanky. So actually killing those three guys... They would have done a lot more damage... Uh, than Kinbaith. And find a bit of a... Azel's gonna move out a bit. Get him access to the road. Maybe he can help deal with Kinbaith next turn. Because these bosses are still very... Uh, they have high defense. So I do kind of need a... Need a magical attacker to help take them out. Oh no! Oh fuck no! Oh my god! Kinbait's running back to get more dudes. That's really bad. Oh no. Okay. What a what a coward! What a lame-ass coward. I completely forgot that that happens. He chooses not to attack, but to run. Alright. Well... Does 26 damage to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to fight the other guys. But... Hopefully, I'll be in a much better position then. Um, yeah, that that's really annoying. Oh well, patience and fire emblem, very important. Probably set up my units like, I don't know. I'm gonna put a guy on this forest, probably. Just 
somewhere here, maybe, on the village. Probably gonna attack him from village woods area here. Fight him in that area. Uh, yeah. So, now we gotta kill this Verdane guy. Alex should, uh, be able to do a lot. I want to make it to the village, and I also want to divert a couple of units to, um, deal with the guys that are- Oh, I have perfect job for Arden. Arden's gonna help deal with these guys. It's gonna be awesome. Probably Noish as well. Kind of important that I rush my units down. So that I can, um... Get in a good position for, uh... The next wave of dudes that, uh... The next wave of dudes Kinbaith's gonna bring. That is so sad. Oh well. I mean, really it's just more, uh, more Verda Verdanite cannon fodder. So, you know, no big deal against my, uh, elite Grand Vale troops. And I think I should, uh, make mention of these units. So, we finally get Aideen, the lady everyone is pining over. I like Aideen a lot, because she's a healer, and healers are good. Um, unlike Aethlin, Aideen is more of a specialty here healer, so... Um... Ethan kind of leaves after the first three chapters. And uh, her staff rank is kind of low, so she's not going to be using a lot of uh, high-quality healing staffs. Aideen is the perfect candidate for using uh, the warp staff, the return staff, the physics staff for long-range healing. So, yeah, all around... She's your main staff user, really. She's gonna have the best weapon rank in staffs. Aside from another character that joins later, but... She's around longer. And she also passes on her items to a healer that joins you in the first chapter of the second generation. So for that reason, she's kind of the, the person you want to give all your good staffs to at the end. Uh, minor earlier blood doesn't mean all that much to her. Yeah, uh, I like Aideen. She's pretty much just a healer and a healer, and that's what she is. And then we have Dew. Dew is also a non-combat unit. Um, his big thing is he's a thief, so every time he hits an enemy unit, he steals a thousand gold from them. Um... He has the soul skill and the bargain skill, neither of which are particularly useful on him because he's not a combat unit. So you won't really want good gear on him, and you won't really want him to be able to heal because he's not going to be fighting all that much. He does have good speed though, so... You know, it could be viable to put, like, a magic ring and a magic sword on him and maybe have him be a combat unit, but... Honestly, why? 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 Just have him, like... Yeah. Just have him steal and help you out with inventory management. He, um... Yeah, he helps out with, uh... A thief can also give their gold to anyone. So what he does is basically anyone that needs to buy a really expensive item, he can just give all his gold to them and they can go ahead and buy it. 
So he helps you out in item management that way. All right. Got two important objectives here. One is to kill all these fools. Two. Uh, one is to kill all these fools and kill this guy to save the village. Two is to deal with the second wave of reinforcements from Genoa. And this time, actually kill Kinbaith. Um, I'll probably have to split my units out to do that. So, yeah. First gonna go ahead and take care of this guy. My defenses will be probably I'm gonna put all my units in this village and kind of choke them here, so yeah. Um, what should I do with my... Uh... I guess you guys can move forward. You probably won't get attacked. Um, and now we'll get this kill with uh, Alec. First of all, who do I want to heal? I could use some healing. Lex. Lex and Alec could use some healing. I'll heal Lex. He has the higher defense stat, and... Yeah. Kind of important to keep him at full health. So my good sword units will probably have to go back to the village to help out with the fight against Kinbaith and his reinforcements. But I'll send them down. Maybe they can do a... Uh... This village is part of the holding of Prince Kinbaith, Lord of Genoa. He's as dreadful as they come. Barely a month ago by without him setting his army on us, it's terrifying. King Batur, his father, used to do such a, a fine job of keeping him in check. I can hardly imagine what's going on. Anyway, I'm glad you stopped by. What a douche. Persecutes his own people. It's not very nice of Kinbaith. And Finn will come down here. And so will Arden. Azel. Very, very low movement, Azel. Alright, I want to keep luring these guys to me. Because I want to kill them pretty fast. It's going to be annoying to deal with, like, two... I'm gonna have to fight a two-front war here, which is gonna be kind of annoying. How many units is he gonna bring back, I wonder? Or did he make himself the boss? Or am I just not gonna see him again? Seems like it's taking him a while to um, fetch his dudes. Gotta get to that village, so... Alright, guys. I'm going to make a cut right here. This will be the end of episode 4 of Let's Play Fire Emblem. Genealogy of the Holy War. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys on episode 5.